Leafs are in the playoffs. Can we be hopeful? Will 2017 be the year? We're talking all things hockey. Please welcome Steve Dangle and Adam Wilde. Good to see you both. Thank Adam, you. Good we to get be to on. see you quite a bit. Yeah, I'm here a lot. So, yeah. Uh, better to see you, I'm Steve. the special one here. It's <laughs> unique that I'm here. Yes. You really are. You really are. You guys are the number one podcast. That's a lot to brag about. I don't, it's I, according I mean, to my mother <laughs> and also wife. And yeah. she's Sometimes. watching. Yes. Hi, Mom. Hello. And Mike. Let's talk yeah. about Saturday night. What an amazing game. I guess my, my cardiologist wouldn't say that. Uh, that that was that was insane, and it was the Leafs season in a nutshell. Uh, the Leafs rookies were doing everything. Are they going to be able to hold on to a lead and, and finally triumph? It, it was it was nice. It was an exorcism. It was it was like you know there's there's one of those things that you don't believe it until it actually happens. It was like the Raptors when they finally won a round last year. Mm -hmm. It was like okay. They can get out of the first round, and then after that, it felt like the pressure was off, and I think that's exactly what happened. Well, and the Saturday. Pens were the first one to score, and apparently the air got sucked out of the room, and it's like, can they do it? Yeah. Not well, just Phil. the Penguins, Phil Castle. Phil Castle. Why? Yeah. Our, Did it have to be? old guy. Yeah. Well, new guy, you know what I mean, but yeah. got traded, mm -hmm. and you're thinking, that's it, we're doomed. And then they got it together, guys. Let's talk about Austin Matthews. He's one of the only players to get 40 goals before he's only 19. He's a pretty good player. Before the age yeah. of 20. Yeah. Uh, Mike Babcock might say he's a very good player. Very good player. <laughs> good on. opportunities. Plays game right. Uh, <laughs> lives right. And, uh, you know, he just, he's just a great player for us, and he's going to be the future of this team. It's like Mike's here. I think so. You know, Austin's, Austin's important because, you know, this is a, a, the first American-born player as a rookie to score 40 goals. Yeah, he now um, holds that record. And he also holds, like, the Leafs point scoring record now, the Leafs goal scoring record for his first season. I mean, this is pretty, pretty special stuff, and this is just the first season. Like, we, you know, he won't hit his prime for another, uh, you know, five to seven years. Okay, guys, they're facing the toughest team Thursday night. What are the chances? Capitals, no big deal. What are the chances? What do they have to do to pull through? I feel like they can do it. All they have to do is be the Leafs. Everyone's so down on the team. Uh, the Washington Capitals won the President's Trophy, top team in the regular season. There's no way the Leafs can beat them, except the Leafs did. They, did, uh, they beat them earlier in the season. I think it was a 4-2 win. Mm -hmm. Matt Martin scored on a beautiful breakaway. Then the second time they played them, it was a, I think, 6-5 overtime loss, but they chased Braden Holtby, who's the Capitals' starting goaltender. And then in the third game, Holtby didn't even play. So the Leafs have Holtby's number this season. They're a high-flying, high-offensive team. The Capitals don't have the greatest history of holding it together in the playoffs. Mm. I think it's doable. They have cracks. And they, the important thing here, too, is that the Capitals are in a spot where they've got a bunch of guys whose contracts are expiring. They won't be able to resign all of them. The Capitals probably won't be as good next year. So the pressure is on them. They have to do it. The have Leafs to. are like, well, we, we got in. <laughs> this is great. house money. <laughs> yeah. They, exactly. they shouldn't even be there. So it's a team with no pressure playing True. against a team that has to win now. I know which one I'd rather be. They're fast and they're hungry. Let's see what to uh, do it again. My bad call. Well, you know, we got the Capitals here and they got Ovechkin. He's a very good player. He's a superstar <laughs> in this league. But, uh, you know, we got Austin Matthews and a few other guys. They right. live right, play right. And that, Compared that's... to this clip. Let's see what he okay. has to say. Who sounds more like Mike? We have lots of kids, and we have lots of inexperienced older players as well. In saying that, there was, you know, if you want to tip your toe into the water, you're going to find out it's boiling. You might as well just jump in, run down the dock, and jump right in. And you know, don't be putting your foot in the water. You might not get in. Think about that. Oh, I couldn't have said it better myself, Mike. <laughs> might as well just jump right in. And, and you know what? A, a lot of the great teams around this league, the Chicago Blackhawks, the Pittsburgh Penguins, at one point they stunk. Then they were very young trying to find their place in this league. And they had to get beat up a little bit in the, in the first round of the playoffs. So this is the Leafs' rite of passage, yeah. I say. And just a, a quick word on Mike Babcock. If you, if you want to have a fun game at home, uh, sh shots of water, we'll say. <laughs> uh, every time he says opportunity, <laughs> drink a shot of water, okay? Hey. It's very, you'll have to pee very quickly. Speaking yes. of, so yesterday we promoted that you were coming on the show and your legions of fans started just Legions. bombarding my feed Legions. with Dina yelling at me. Dina, what, what is the joke? Is okay. there a joke? Yeah, so if, if we go to a game or whatever, you know, sometimes people be like, hey, listen to the podcast and, and all that, and they'll walk up to me, they'll walk up to Adam and Jesse, but sometimes their mom will be in the background and just be like, I love you with Dina. <laughs> I love you with Dina. It wouldn't be to be I love you with Dina, it's... What's Dina like? Oh my Dina. God. Dina. So, so that's why they're all writing me. So yeah. I got to start dangle. 
when, you come on, yeah. when you come on BT. Absolutely. Okay. Dina. Thanks, guys. Uh, make sure you catch these two on the Steve Dangle podcast. New episodes every Tuesday and Thursday. Subscribe on iTunes and Sportsnet.ca and catch all of your hockey highlights, Leafs playoffs, up to the minute scores on Sportsnet. We're actually hooking you guys up on breakfasttelevision.ca on the homepage. We're going to have all the games when they play. You won't miss a thing. We've got you covered. Go Leafs, go. go Leafs, First go. round victory. I'm feeling it. Kev, it's going to happen.